Good day to you. This is Pastor Joey Pagadora, and this is Senior Moments to Remember. Thank you for joining us today. We are looking forward to a wonderful time together as we read the Word of God, pray together, and worship Him, and have fun together in the presence of God. So as we continue, I'd like to encourage you, if there is any prayer requests that you have, please type them in there at the comment section below. We want to hear from you. Or just type in a greeting and let us know where you are from. Let us open in prayer. Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful time together, and we just open our hearts. I pray that you bless Tatai, that you bless Nanai, and your presence will just walk into the room, walk into the house, and let your presence be felt, and let your presence be real. Healings will take place in their bodies. Prayers are going to be answered. Hearts are going to be filled with your goodness. Thank you, God, for a blessed time together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's start and let's open our hearts in worship. Good morning. Come and join me in worshiping our wonderful God. Moments to remember, moments to remember. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Moments to remember, moments to remember. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the cause of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green to proclaim the Lord is upright. He's my rock and there's no wickedness in me. Moments to remember, moments to remember. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon Moments to remember Moments to remember Planted in the house of the Lord They will flourish in the cause of our God They will still bear fruit in old age They will stay fresh and green To proclaim the Lord is upright He's my rock and there's no wickedness in Him Moments to remember 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 became sin who you know sin that we might become his righteousness he humbled himself and carried the cross love so amazing love so amazing Jesus Messiah Name above all names, blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, the rescue for sinners, the ransom from heaven, Jesus Messiah. Lord of all, all our hope is in you, all our hope is in you, all the glory to you, God, the light of the world, all our hope, all our hope. Messiah, name above all names, bless. 
blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, the rescue for sinners, the ransom from heaven, Jesus Messiah, Lord of all, Jesus Messiah, Lord of all, Amen. Moments to remember. A blessed day to you. This is Pastor Joey again, and this is your wow moment. Wow meaning, words of wisdom, and we know that wisdom is important to you because you have lived it, you have proven it, and now you are enjoying the fruit of wisdom in your life. Our wow moment for today will be coming from Proverbs chapter 8, verses 1 to 9. Does not wisdom call, does not understanding raise her voice? On the heights beside the way, at the crossroads, she takes her stand. Beside the gates in front of the town, at the entrance of the portals, she cries aloud, to you, O men, I call, and my cry is to the children of man. O simple ones, learn prudence. O fools, learn sense. Hear, for I will speak noble things, and from my lips will come out what is right. For my mouth will utter truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteous. There is nothing twisted or crooked in them. They are all straight to him who understands, and right to those who find knowledge. For a few weeks now, on Thursdays, we've been talking about wisdom. We've been talking about the fact that wisdom is available anywhere, and it's available to anybody. And we talked about the fact that wisdom brings prudence and sense to people. It brings sense to you, to your children, to your grandchildren, and to your great-grandchildren. And this is something that you want for your family, for sure. And today we will be talking about wisdom bringing righteousness and wisdom bringing understanding. Wisdom brings righteousness when it comes to decisions in life, in all aspects. Like, for example, in our speech, Psalm 37 verse 30, the mouth of the righteous utters wisdom. So if we want our families to be speaking in wisdom, if we want our families to be speaking good things, we need to give ear to the Word of God. It also brings righteousness in our choices of friends. It's Proverbs 13 verse 20, Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. So wisdom allows your grandchildren, allows your children to make the righteous choices when it comes to friendships. Wisdom also helps bring righteous decisions when it comes to which way to go? Proverbs 14, verse 8, The wisdom of the prudent is to discern his way, but the folly of fools is deceiving. Wisdom also influences a person, influences you, your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren to become generous, to become giving. Proverbs 37, verse 21, The wicked borrows but does not pay back, but the righteous is generous and gives. Wisdom also will lead you to find refuge in the Lord. And it is something that is very timely right now. Psalm 64 verse 10, Let the righteous one rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in Him. Let all the upright in heart exult. So wisdom allows you, your family, to make righteous decisions. And the last one I want to go back to. We all need refuge at this time. And your family will find a sure refuge in God as long as they open their hearts to wisdom and let righteousness dictate and guide their decisions. Aside from righteousness, it also brings understanding. It's a kind of understanding that would come only from God, not the understanding of the world, not the understanding of just man, but the understanding of God. And it because it's from God, it leads us to a straight path. It leads us to leveled paths. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6, For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Proverbs 15, verse 21, Folly is a joy to him who lacks sense, you know, somebody who lacks wisdom. But a man of understanding 
walks straight ahead. So no matter how challenging the days may be ahead, your family will not make desperate decisions. Your family will not go towards what, you know, the Filipino idiom is, we call it kapit sa patalim. We will not do that. Instead of kapit sa patalim, what we will do is kapit sa Panginoon. We will hold on to God. We will follow His ways. We will follow God. Because this assures us of refuge. This assures us of safety. And you know what else? When you stick to the Word of God, if your family, your apo, will learn to stick with the Word of God, no matter how big a challenge is ahead of him, in front of him, the Word of God will make him capable of facing the challenges. Even if they have enemies, the Word of God will teach them how to be wiser. Proverbs 119, verse 98, Your commandment makes me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever with me. As much as you love your children, as much as you love your apo and your apo sa tuhod, you want to guide them, but you cannot be with them 24 hours a day. And you surely cannot be with them for the rest of their lives. But you can be teaching them the Word of God. You can point them to find wisdom in the Word of God because as we just read, the Word of God will be with them forever. And it says it will be making them wiser than any of their enemies. So point them to the Word of God and they will be all right. Point them to the Word of God and they will have an everlasting counsel. This has been your wow moment and our prayer for you is that as you continue living in wisdom, the days, the weeks, the months, and the years ahead of you will even be more fruitful. God bless you. It's time to sing along with me. Come on, let's sing. We bring the sacrifice of praise. Blessed morning once again. This is Pastor Oyen for our Say Amen segment. For the day, let us look at Mordecai and how he became a good influence to a young Esther. It took place in the time when Persia was ruling the world. The Jewish exiles from Babylon had gone back to Jerusalem as given permission by King Cyrus. 
but there were exiles who decided to stay in the land where they were exiled. And some of those were Mordecai and his niece Esther. In Esther chapter 2 verse 7, it says here, He, Mordecai, was bringing up Hadassah, that is Esther, the daughter of his uncle, for she had neither father nor mother. The young woman had a beautiful figure and was lovely to look at. And when her father and her mother died, Mordecai took her as his own daughter. So we have two characters here, Mordecai and Esther. We can see that Mordecai was a caring and selfless relative who was thinking of the welfare of his own family. He adopted Esther and treated her as his own daughter. Now, during those times, King Xerxes of Persia was looking for a wife. Many young women were brought to the citadel of Susa so the king can choose his wife, and one of those was Esther. In verses 9, 11, and 15 of chapter 2, we can see that Esther won the favor of everyone in the palace, and she won the favor of the king. Esther became the queen for King Xerxes. In chapter 2, verse 20, it says here, Esther had not made known her kindred or her people, as Mordecai had commanded her. For Esther obeyed Mordecai just as when she was brought up by him. So here we can see that Esther was raised up by Mordecai to be an obedient child. And Esther valued every word Mordecai spoke with her. And even when Esther had become queen, Mordecai did not stop showing care for Esther because he was constantly monitoring her even she was already living with the king in the palace. In Esther chapter 2 verse 11, And every day Mordecai walked in front of the court of the harem to learn how Esther was and what was happening to her. And the rest of the chapters showed how the relationship as father and daughter turned out to be a success in the preservation of the Jewish people against the evil plans of Haman as they fasted and prayed together. In the New Testament, we also see an example in young Timothy, as he was brought up and influenced in the faith by her mother and grandmother. As a result, he turned to be a good man. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5, I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwelt first in your grandmother Louise and your mother Eunice, and now I am sure dwells in you as well. So as grandparents and parents, you can also be a good influence for the younger generation. Spend time teaching young people. Impart to them wisdom so that you have acquired in all the experiences you have in life. Others spending time in telenovela, others in gossip, or worse, drinking wine or beer. Let us set a good example to the young people. They should see us reading our Bible, worshiping the Lord, and praying. Spend time teaching the younger ones the word. It says in Proverbs 22, 6, Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Notice of this verse, it is commanded to the parent and not to the children. So we have a responsibility. Let us set a good example to the younger generation. This is your Say Amen segment for today. God bless you. Moments to remember. Hello, wonderful exemplars. This is Pastor Paula and welcome to our daily surprise. Of course, when you see me, you know it's going to be a pop quiz. Yes, I'm going to ask you three questions from our past Sababa lesson. And if you know the answer, all you have to do is to type down in the comment section below. So, are you ready? Yay! Alright, so here's our question number one. Ta-da! What is the other name for Caesarea Philippi? What is the other name for Caesarea Philippi? Is it A. Banyas, B. Philippus, or C. Hani? A. Banyas, 
B. Philippus or C. Pan. In five, four, three, two, and one. Time's up. Let's go to question number two. Which temple was built in Caesarea Philippi? Which temple was built in Caesarea Philippi? Is it A, the temple of Asherah, B, the temple of Pan, or C, the temple of Doom? Is it A, the temple of Asherah, B, the temple of Pan, or C, the temple of Doom? Okay. In five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Let's go to question number three. The cave in Caesarea Philippi was also called A, the gates of Pan, B, the gates of Caesar, or C, the gates of hell. Is it A, the gates of Pan, B, the gates of Caesar, or C, the gates of hell? And I'll give you time to check your answers. In five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. It's time to check your answers. Let's see if you got this correct. In question number one, what is the other name for Caesarea Philippi? And the correct answer is letter A, Banyas. Correct answer is letter A, Banyas. That is the other name for Caesarea Philippi. And for question number two, which temple was built in Caesarea Philippi? And the correct answer is letter B, the temple of Pan. That is the correct answer, letter B, the temple of Pan. And lastly, for question number three, the cave in Caesarea Philippi was also called, the correct answer is C, the gates of hell. Is called See the Gates of Hell. So, did you get all three questions correct? Yay! If you got it all right, thank you so much, exemplars, for participating in our pop quiz today. So, we hope to see you next time in our daily surprise in our pop quiz. And always take notes and listen carefully because who knows, we will be asking you any questions from our sub baba lessons. So again, this is Pastor Paul. I'll see you again next time. Bye. Moments to remember. Hello po and welcome once again to our memory verse segment. Yes, I know you can do this. Our memory verse for today is found in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 24. And it says, The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in Him. Amen! We put our hope in the Lord. Amen? Amen! And like as always, we will ask help from one of you po. So right now, help me welcome Brother Bindi Avila from COP Batangas. Hello po! Hi! Brother Benny, do you think you can do this po? Yes, I can! Awesome! Lamentation 3.24 The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in Him. Wow! Thank you so much, my brother Benny. And I know you recited the verse with him because you are preparing for round one of our memory verse. Round one, we will remove a few words from our verse. And I know you can supply the missing words, right? Alright, here we go. Round one. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 24. The Lord... Therefore... Awesome! Did you get that right, Po? If you got it right, please type got it at the comment section so that everyone will know that you got this one right okay of course if we have round one we will have round two of our memory verse round two we will remove more words i know you can do this very well are you ready Bob? here we go round two lamentations chapter 3 verse 24 
the Lord. Therefore, awesome! Did you get that right, Po? If you got it right, please type got it at the comment section. So everyone will know you got this one right. <laughs> all right, so right now, we will recite the verse all together with Brother Biddy. Are you ready, Po? Here we go. Lamentation 3.24 the Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in Him. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Brother Biddy. And thank you, Pa, for joining us today in our Memory Verse segment. Until next time, God bless you all. Moments to remember. Hello, this is Pastor Latin, and welcome once again to our prayer time. Thank you so much for always allowing us to be part of your life every time you share with us your prayer request. It's always a great privilege to pray for you and see those prayers being answered. So we are looking forward for great testimonies. So how do we pray? Fervently and with joy. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus and we are so grateful for all the wonderful things you have accomplished in our lives. Truly, Lord, without you and apart from you, we are nothing. Father, right now, we lift up to you, Sister Carmelita. Thank you, Lord, for blessing her grandchildren with stable jobs. Thank you for your promise to their family that even at this time, you will be their foundation and you will be the sure stability of their times. Father, I also commit to you, Sister Grace. Thank you, Father, for a negative result of her entire family from swab tests. And I also commit to you, her son, for a quick recovery from COVID. Father, we ask that in Jesus' name, this deadly pestilence will never come back again to their household. And Father, we also pray for Sister Imelda. Thank you, Lord, for completely healing her and restoring her health from the sickness she had, O oh God. And Father, I also commit to you, Clyde and Boyet, that they will be healed from these cough and colds. Thank you that by the wounds of Jesus, the whole family has been healed and father I also pray for sister pixie oh god and we command every sickness in her body to be broken off in jesus name father we rebuke this hypercholesterolemia the gout and the kidney disease she has oh god father thank you that from the top of her head down to the sole of her feet healing is flowing supernatural strength is flowing to sister pixie in jesus name and also god for sister marita Thank you, Lord, for your hand of uncommon favor to rest upon her family as they look for a new house. And Father, I pray that this place will allow them to have a business and sell their products. Thank you also, God, for Sister Bella. Thank you, God, for providing a gadget for her grandson. Thank you, Lord, for answering their prayer regarding this. And thank you that even as they also look for a house to stay somewhere in Cavite, you will open doors of opportunities that this place is something that will be out of flood, free from any kind of danger. This is a place of undisturbed rest, a place of safety in Jesus' name. And also, God, for Sister Rosemary, thank you, Lord, for healing and blessing her, oh God, as well. And thank you, Father, that she'll be able to see your promises being fulfilled in her life when it comes to her business. Thank you, God, that you will prosper the work of her hands as she see more sales more customers coming in thank you father that all of these prayer requests will be answered because faithful are you who made the promise and as we believe we will receive it in jesus name we give you glory and honor and all these things we ask in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen thank you so much for joining us today and we hope to see you again tomorrow for another time of prayer Moments to remember. Thank you so much for joining us today and we are looking forward to having you join us again tomorrow. Now before we go, please let us encourage you. Remember that you are special to God. He has something good in store for you and He is always working for the good of those who love Him. You are precious to Him. And before we go also, please type in your prayer requests at the comment section below and our pastors will be in touch with you. Let's close in prayer. Father, thank you for a blessed time together. 
Thank you for your word that encourages us. Thank you for filling us with your joy. It strengthens nanay. It strengthens tatay. And we pray, Lord, that as they have the rest of the day, let it be blessed with your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you and see you tomorrow for Senior Moments to Remember. Moments to Remember